From the Up Up Coast Studios in Oklahoma City, this is the Cable Motors OU Update with Mike Baldwin. I'm Jenny Carlson. Mike, the Sooners, they're off to a great, great start. What do you attribute the start that they've gotten off to? What do you attribute it to? Well, a little bit of it's scheduling. They've only played one team that's even sniffed the top 25 St. Louis. They lost to them. But they're beating teams, five of them, that that's their worst loss of the year. So that's always a sign, too. ORU that beat Xavier the other day. By the way, OU handled them pretty well. They've got Santa Clara, who's a pretty good team, handled them. They've had a couple other wins, Houston, Arkansas, that are decent teams, not great teams. They're taking care of business. And the bottom line is four guys are averaging double figures. They've got a lot of different weapons, inside and out. It's a manageable schedule, but they've got a chance to go 11-1 and one if they can beat Cincinnati without its suspended star. But they've been playing better without their suspended star the last two weeks. But if they win that one next week, they're probably going into Big 12 play at 11-1. But by the way, the Big 12 opener at Missouri, number eight in the country. So we're <laughs> going to find out pretty quick how good they are. Okay, so I think a lot of people around the country might be looking at Lon Kruger's first year in Norman using the word surprise. Is it a surprise? Well, it was for a while, but I think players are getting a little antsy hearing that word because the bottom line is they're now playing pretty good basketball. Just judge us for who we are, not what you thought we would be, which, by the way, was picked tied for last with Texas Tech by the coaches in preseason. Everybody's saying they're better than that. How much better? We're not going to know until conference play. There's no doubt the first six weeks of the season, they're one of the top su uh, surprises in the Big 12. All right. Thanks, Mike. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.